school emphasis, provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K emphasis, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job bonus and training, hands-on project work, plus the stack, resume preparation and review, mock interview, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recording sessions and live classes. H2K emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kemphasis.com. Try using it, if not, I'll see if I again fill in any other blank for you guys. Okay. Okay, after the end I'll do that. Okay. So there are a lot of tools, but the thing is, these tools, if you install it, that uh, after some time they'll ask you to uh, have have the uh, license version. Okay. So these are all not no, not licensed, I believe. Uh, this you can just use it for a couple of days or so, and then you can install it again. Okay. All right, uh, let's move on. Um, so I was talking about Spring Boot, I think. Spring Cloud. All right, so I was talking about a string name is equal to Jaram string name two equal to Jaram string name two equal to Jaram. Okay. So when I run this application, can can you guys tell me how many options are there in the application? Before you guys just type in so that uh, we'll be fine to so I get a lot of question a lot of answers as string two two uh, one and so on okay yeah actually uh, okay uh, the person who has told uh, one can you just give me why Right, exactly. That's the point I was making, right? So what happens basically um, in your heap, you have got a string pool basically, right? So what happens is when you say string name equal to Jaram, string pool name is equal to string name equal to Jaram, and in that object, the value will be of Jaram, okay? Now what happens when you say name two, okay, so you have a request, which is string pool, okay? So when you create name two out here, again what happens, name two gets created, instead of creating a new object, what happens, the same reference is going to refer to the same object out here, right? The same thing goes for your name three, but what if I say name four equals to new of string. So when I say it in this way, basically the it is going to create one more new object in the memory and it is going to assign that particular reference to string. Okay. So why is it like this? Now, in Java, uh, in real time, or, or if you guys are using Apple Pay, you will tend, uh, you will end up using a lot of strings in your, uh, in your application. Okay. String is the most 
common object which we use everywhere okay um even though it is a character let's say you say Thus, this case we can use uh, as is the character has been actually and we have used okay so everything you'll see every now and then you'll be seeing that as you're going to print in AutoCAD okay now Java for that reason because if the if you end up creating multiple objects in your uh, in your sheet okay in your memory so you will more times if your objects will be I mean your your memory will be full and across so one of the tricks with Java is pretty much it's proven enough that and it, it is uh, it's proven enough to say that whenever you create multiple scheme objects with the same name each one object will be created the first and it will be kept in the string pool also huh? anyone anyone in, in the complete application anyone in the entire application can use Java as a reference point so that every application can be used in the same way that you have used okay and anyone in that application will use its own name as well and each one of the object will be kept in its own way which which is what we want to uh, reference to the uh, to the new reference point okay so for that reason it is important to understand what is a string pool okay and let's say uh, let me just use the example we had earlier now let us do one thing uh, coming back to the two classes example So when I say I want to test this out and say name for I know I've already told it is a string okay so this case I will obviously get a value as false now how do I make this a string I'll just say name for dot equal but when it it's primitive data type it's not like this type of type okay of the type it's not the same type it is only for the string string type so right click run as our application now so what happens uh, in this case i'm just making this a skeleton for the string okay for that reason skeleton in for a string uh, every each and every class okay so you can just invoke dot equal on each and every class to make sure to check that whether these two strings are same or not now string has got an equal method wherein it does some functionality to check whether two strings are same or not okay so how do i implement these the same functionality out here now let's say i say uh, human human equals to new string organize uh, let's say let's talk about this human and i create a human with a Control let's say. So I create a human with control. Now let's go back. Uh, let's name how we can call this. Name type dot equal. Now I want to create one more human human to with same name I can call it this now I say sys out human dot equals human to now what will be the answer out here will it be true or false okay okay all right okay so Madhu, again, uh, you you gave the right answer, and uh, you got it from there. <laughs> okay, all right. So, uh -huh. right, right, right. So, right click, run as Java application as a test dot test. Okay. Now the reason, uh, when you just open the equals method, what it does basically, it checks whether these two belong to the same reference or not. Okay. Now, if I say something like this, uh, human, uh, human, let's say human with a, uh, let's say this is one, and 
Donc il est ici, ça, il se voit ici. Il est même. Non. Non, il faut essayer. Human 1 dot equals to human 2. Oh, sorry, human 1 1. Run this, right click, run as dot equals to other dot. Okay, it's good. Okay. Why do I get this thing? To go and uh, see the default method, the, the default functionality of the default method. It says this dot equals to equals to. When you talk about the equals to equals to, it always talks about the reference of a particular object. Okay. But when you talk about equals, it talks about the actual value. But when you talk about equals in string, it talks about the actual value. But when you talk about equals in any of the objects, it does not. It basically checks whether these two are of the same reference or not. But still, I want to check whether these two humans are same or not. What I have to do is, I have to override this particular equals method in my own class. So let me go to the human here. And control space equals. So what do I do here? I say, um, let me copy the name and the name is the same as the human. Uh, this is control, there's a control and there is a, is there not? There is not a control, there is a class. Just press on your control key and then click on the class, class file over here. It goes to your actual file, okay? Okay, so what do I do here? I just say, uh, oh, is there not a equals to here? Why do I have it here as an as a uh, as an object? I have something as an object out here. Now, what am I passing out here? I'm passing a human out here. Okay. Now, what do I do here? What should I do in order to convert my human reference to object? my object reference in this class to human. So my objective is I just need to say if this dot control equals to the object which I passed on that's what you are on this human dot equals to human one one. How do I do that? I have to go to your equals method. In this equals method I have to check whether this this particular object is param object dot equals to okay so if this dot control equals to this parameter object dot dot three and this dot sorry this dot height equals to dot height and I want you guys to type in if you have the answer with uh, with you uh, on what should I do in order to get rid of this compile time error the one you see in the meantime I'm just typing my code so this dot name equals to So if this condition is true to me, I'm just going to say reference tree else return yes. Okay, so your book should be ready to go to class. Now what am I going to do here? guys didn't go with uh, go through the videos is there any way for getting a particular replace with equals no uh, I don't think so uh, I did not get your question uh, Madhu ji so 
you say querying your interface, is there a way for querying a particular interface? What does that mean? See, when you talk about reflection problem, you talk about querying the interface. In that case, also you are going to see, okay, this is the particular object. So ultimately, you have to understand what is happening. And that particular reference itself, you are going to invoke those those uh, properties. Okay, in reflection also, you will do the same thing. Okay. Anyways, we'll, when we talk about reflection, we'll talk about those things. Um, no, okay, I got a couple of answers out here. Um, so I just got only one answer right. So let me just tell you what to do here. Now, what is this object out here? So, uh, the object is the one object we have here, the view object. What we'll do is, as we have referred it to, uh, as this is the reference object before class, so before class I'll just pass it back to a subclass. So I just need to say here, uh, view one. to pass this which one you are you are supposed to pass param object and use the same human object in all objects so this equal to equals to this and this height equal to equals to this and this height equal to equals to this right what this does is it it all it all takes it as the it all takes as it doesn't have any uh, what is it what is it what is it called here it says concrete to so it calls all objects as the so ultimately you're saying if this dot country equals to the human object which we passed as right now so country and this dot height equals to height this dot height equals to your human object uh, dot name sorry this dot name equals to name in that case return true otherwise return false okay let us go back and rerun the same application again so right click uh, run as dev application in this case for me both the conditions are true for now okay so with the one equal, it does not create any uh, see there are different ways of implementing this. I could have instead of this one, I wrote multiple lines of code, right? I can even say single line of code but just to make you guys comfortable okay I just added an if and else statement here okay okay so run as uh, dev application it should be doing it yes we can add a function and we are still in front of the virtual library so again your responsibility whenever you want to make your other three objects true or not you have to know that you are implementing this it's very important to understand what an object thing is because down the line when we talk about collections we will see what is the actual use of your object thing so it is very important to understand what an object thing is okay um, any more questions talking about overloading here let's look through it here uh, okay so you have already incorporated out here so this is how you get incorporated out here okay as so 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 what does it do I have overridden this particular method right so what is the use of overriding overriding this particular method sorry overloading this particular method just a normal method, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, you're 
we're talking about this way so we are just saying human out here in practical yes like Migran and Java to do it <laughs> does the same thing so you can override your text accordingly there is no harm in not overriding it in that regard okay but in more generic you you basically pass on this is not an actual text here this is just a string you pass on human slash anything by the end and by the end you have this particular text okay all right so This is a real example uh, uh, in, indeed, you know, in real time, this is how you even do it, okay? And when we talk about uh, collections, you see more examples out there to make uh, make it more, uh, more uh, computable, and but in real time also, you do the same thing out here. try to do that but I feel okay is there anything which you didn't understand uh, in this particular topic question mm -hmm. that uh, when we did the, the stack thing first the question is that how did you uh, make that the uh, the equals method from the uh, object mm -hmm. class appeared on the string. Would you what would you suggest to us? Uh, in the other, I'm okay. talking about the with the equals method where we have overwritten it. Mm -hmm. This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You you press something, then this uh, the method appeared. Right here is the uh, this is my string tree class. This is my equal one. I just did a control and click on this. I'm already told that in the 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 command right now. Just say press control and click on the method, and you go to that particular method. That's what I just did. All right, and uh, the next thing is that when we learned about casting, we learned that. Uh, we have the method, and uh, suppose that uh, method is uh, the method is not available in a particular class. Then we do the casting, right? Correct. So here we are uh, doing the casting first. Then I need to know that uh, why we are writing here. I understand that there is no method in this. Uh, this the one which you used before mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yeah the object mm -hmm. uh, yeah, why we are uh, doing it here okay. I remember we did like that if uh, we did the method was was not available right. we uh, did right. the casting and then called on the method okay I don't understand this no did you did you back to the other examples as such because I should have at least done that this should have been another example in that. So again, I'll just tell you that if you use an object out here, let me see what is this called. Now tell me, from your client variable, I'm passing it here, right? Okay. Now in this case, if you if I use the same object, right? So let's say this is my call buddy buddy buddy. This is a call with my client. Now I have only this object here. I've got this. This is what when I talk about this one the human one, I have got the human one details. I just say here, this dot main equals to, on which particular object are we going to compare? I just say object dot, do I have name out here? There is no name out here, yes. But I know that this object, the one which I'm passing is of type human being, okay? Right. Now, what we are doing this case, I could basically point to a particular class on which this particular object object will be 
in this computer, I can just claim it's a computer that has this many drives in it. Say cmp dot uh, company and this dot program. I am very good. Right click, run as our application. I can very well do this functionality out here. Okay. Uh, I have no problems at all. But I want to separate these functionalities. Where I don't want to invoke any of the methods in the same program as well. This is my design of doing a program because for a lot of designs you will be more comfortable not invoking in the in invoking these APIs here instead of you want to separate all these things in a particular way. Let's say here I just say uh, invoke okay invoke APIs and application program executes. Now here in this case I just want to invoke these these uh, these things out in this way. So what I do is I want to say Computer and the class of computer is cmp dot create. Now here in this case, uh, when I need to invoke this, I need to say static equal to invoke API. So I just say invoke API and say cmp and say company. So what did I do? I created a company, a computer. I created a uh, this. And I pass the com uh, computer here and see here as a reference. The same reference goes to your this one and this one. Okay. And on this, I just say cmp dot company and create a okay. Now I just put this thing out here. I put this right click. at all now tomorrow one more uh, one more uh, problem will come up okay now you are saying here I am creating one more computer in this okay and just say Dell computer okay so this is your Dell computer now what do you do do you go and uh, change the signature as computer again I can do that I just say Dell here and in this case I'll just pass on Dell and come here and just say DELL dot company right click run as dot create you get the desired result out to here in this case how many times would you go ahead and uh, keep doing the changes out here so be very generic out here how will you make it look like okay and then I is my own key design so I'll just say it as an object out here so as of now I'll just say object ABC object map ABC right and let's see what uh, what is the truth I'm going to write here in this invoke API I'm going to invoke this three times right now okay in this I'm just going to pass cump I'm going to pass del I'm going to pass fish now what am I going to do in my uh, in my API I'm just going to say here if this object is instance of okay if this is an instance of your computer copy this paste it out here then pass this particular object abj to a file and see there okay and on this particular computer invoke my company okay else if object instance of your fish do 
the same thing. Take this object. Okay. Cast this to fish. And on this fish, invert the image. Now, I have produced a very generic, I will never come and change this particular image. I have created for you. Here it was all this particular API with an object class. Okay, here is here are the objects. I'm good. The two image thing is here. Just pass down the object. It will come here and make it into and invert the image. Do that. I'll click on that. Now you see. Does it make sense out here? Uh, yes. Now it shows. It's what you would want this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're okay. Yeah, uh, guys, any other questions? If not, uh, we have to wind up now. I've got one more class right now. So thanks for those questions. And, and one, more uh, one more thing. Uh, Monday, I have got uh, some official uh, is it official topics. Yeah. So I cannot uh, come on Monday. So we'll meet up on Tuesday. Okay. Is there a class on Monday? No, there is no class this Monday. And I believe you guys are, you guys have got all the videos, uh, proper videos by now, with code. The videos are I all, can't, the videos no, are I all. Can't. I'm in process where I, I couldn't see anything. I think they have uploaded all the videos right now, uh, which have been available right now. And uh, you can still see the video with the link. Okay. I have received some videos to see. Is that with everybody? I yes. wanted to check that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Huh? Kiran, what are you going to cover on Tuesday? We'll talk about Excel. H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing, and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job bonus and training, hands-on project work, cloud tech stack, resume preparation and review, mock interview, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions and live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com.